Okay, let's make a connection between the degree of a polynomial and the number of turning points on that polynomial. So we have a graph given to us of an x to the fourth minus x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4x graph. As you can see on here, on the left-hand side, it starts out and it's decreasing. Then it changes to increasing, back to decreasing, and increasing at the end. What we want to note on this is when it changes from decreasing to increasing or increasing to decreasing, we get what we refer to as a turning point. Now, we could classify these as maximums or minimums, local or relative maximums or minimums, but you'll notice that we have three turning points on our graph. The connection we want to make is the degree of our polynomial, the highest power on x when it's in the expanded form, in this case is going to be a degree 4 polynomial. So for a degree 4 polynomial, we can have up to a maximum of three turning points. So what we can do to calculate the maximum number of turning points is start with the degree and subtract 1. And that'll be the maximum number of turning points. Now functions don't always attain the maximum number. Like if we think about, say, the graph of y equals x to the fifth power, that's a degree 5, so it could have a maximum of up to four turning points. But the graph of x to the fifth is just an odd power function. It's increasing the entire way and doesn't have any turning points along the way. So it's a maximum number of turning points, not a set number that it has to attain. Let's take a look at a couple examples here at the bottom. So we want to find the maximum number of turning points of each polynomial. So the first thing to do is think about what is the degree of each polynomial. Now this first one is not written in descending order. You may notice that 4x to the fifth power is the highest power on x. So let's just go ahead and rewrite this one at the beginning in descending order. So this has degree 5. So the maximum number of turning points What we want to do is we want to subtract 1. So we've got 5 minus 1. We're going to have a maximum of 4 turning points on this one. And that one began in expanded form. On part B, that's not an expanded form. So we have to kind of visualize if we were to spend our time and multiply this all out, we can think of this as a negative of x minus 1 times another copy of x minus 1 times 1 plus 2x squared. Now we're concerned about getting the highest power of x possible. So if we were to multiply those first two binomials, x minus 1 times x minus 1, we'd get x times x gives us an x squared. And I'm kind of discounting the negative out in front for the time being because that doesn't contribute to the degree. Next, if we take the highest power of x in this first set of parentheses and multiply it by the highest power of x in that second set of parentheses, we're going to end up with... Well, technically a negative from the outside, 2x to the fourth power is our highest power, and there's a bunch of other stuff going on here. But what this tells us is this would be a degree 4 polynomial, and our maximum number of turning points would be 4 minus 1 would be 3. All right, so another way to think about this that I always find kind of helpful is if you think about it's just x to the first power on this first um, set of parentheses. That's going to have a multiplicity of 2. So two copies of that x get multiplied together. And then we have an x squared. And that second set to the first power, that's plus another 2. That adds up to our 4, which is the degree of this polynomial. So that hopefully can help. But then remember, you always have to subtract 1 to get the maximum number of turning points possible. Hope this helps. Good luck.